I'm about to play the northern pike again. This thing is outrageous. Single air print, already flew a couple times. Absolutely nuts. I didn't think a plane like this would handle that well. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, after using it a couple times, I'm probably just to ditch it. Okay. Yeah, I had an 1800 4S. Now we're going to put in a 3000 4S and slid it back a little bit. As long as the balance point comes up where it's supposed to be. Yeah, it should handle about the same as it did before. Same same good handling and everything. So, okay, anybody ready? Get the old trusty Tyrannus Plus. Alright. Okay, all set? Yep. Okay. And it's uh, with the original, right? Oh, yeah. Yep, we're back okay. in that. Okay, Model 60. Yep. Oh, there it goes. Okay. You gotta get controls. Oh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, I like having that much control with it, too. Whoop. Uh, ouch. Okay. That was, that was a dumb thing. I think your paint job there for a little bit. Yeah, the way this thing is, man, it just slides right in there. Has magnets, but when okay. you don't have magnets... Yeah, no worries. That holds it just as good. The next one, I'll actually paint the little little face on it, too. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, actually, it's pretty easy right there. Oh, yeah. Really, I want to take and just kind of paint it forward, and then just kind of sand it down a little bit. Right. All right. And for right now, no video, so not too worried about it. It's too much fun to fly around. <laughs> so if it flies high like this, then uh, you should be able to get plenty of flight time out of it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know if you want to try and fly it or not, but I'll tell you, it's a, it's a tricky plane. <laughs> you sure you'd be ready for it? Uh -huh. It's only one way to find out. Okay. Uh, remember the well, uh, the last plane, did you fly at line of sight at all, or? No. Okay. So. How, are, how good are you when it comes towards you? Oh, I could, I, with this, I think I could do it. I've done line of sight with quads and stuff a little bit. This is okay. even, I, I understand the, the difference in... Okay. On, yeah, if you get, if you get in trouble, just hand me the controls. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to find out, otherwise I could uh, put on another show and just kind of <laughs> just make sure the thing's going to work right. Oh, so I'll let, actually, yeah, with that, okay. battery, with that battery, I'll launch it. I'll let okay. you make sure. This way we'll just make sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to. <laughs> okay. Which way? Okay. Yeah, it's pretty much ready in that way, so all right. You're all set? <laughs> well, it was, uh, okay, yeah. I, Took a little bit of up elevator just kind of get the thing going. Uh, well, that battery is probably a little heavier. Yep. Still looks like it's doing good with it. Sweet. Okay. It's a little bit quicker now. Really? Yeah. Well, I guess that weight up front probably helped that. Okay. Yeah, you would have found it. Uh, you would have had to pull full up elevator to kind of keep it from dipping into the ground. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, not bad. I mean, really good response. As I said, this thing is is quick. You'd have to be really careful with it. Because uh, the quick response time, if you're not used to the reflexes uh, just yet, it'll definitely uh, reach up and bite you, though. <laughs> well, there's a, there's a way to turn on, like, slower rates, too, right? Uh, yeah, we have to program that into the... Uh, oh. Into the input or the mixer? Probably the mixer to set it up on a well, both to set up a switch. Yeah. I found with the input, actually uh, the input might actually be better because you don't have the mixing on that one. And we got somebody walking down there at the yeah. other end of the field. Okay. Yeah, that made me. Okay. Yeah, because I've been flying these things for so long, it's just almost second nature. Right. 
it's when I uh, kind of lose sight of it, then I really uh, have issues and everything. Okay, Mike, you go ahead and take it in, see how it's going to land. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Let those guys walk around for a minute. Good. Just don't want to. <laughs> that is one sweet handling uh, printed wing there. <laughs> Was that the third landing? And we're still good. No yeah. God, man. So this is a 36 inch Northern Pike single print. You're using a Prusa software to print the thing? Nope. Simplify 3D. Simplify, okay. And a Sovol SV01. You oh. got the files off a of Thingiverse from. What's the name? Yep. And I saw it fly two years ago, or what was, oh, it was early, well, like mid mid year last year. And uh, he was having the hell of a good time flying this thing. Oh yeah. That's... But yeah, the way this thing is set up, uh, unfortunately, my printer, I've I've got to print it up with two shells, and none of this internal structure comes in. So, man, you are gonna have a hell of a good time when a uh, Let's just go ahead and make sure we can get the FX wing up, and then uh, we'll get you tons of experience. Yeah. You just need to get the the first initial feeling because I think so. I don't want to, you know, heavy heavy fly the thing and then uh, accidentally uh, duck it into the ground just because of a, a last you know. <laughs> yeah, right. All it takes is a split second, and it's in the ground, and this thing will will just basically just unpeel oh, itself. Oh, Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's a, oh. <laughs> my, my other question, I wonder how it would handle with that 5003S. If that uh, would slow things down enough. Or, it will definitely slow it down. In fact, it might make it a little bit uh, easier handling. That's if, kind of, that was kind of my thought, maybe a little slower and a little easier yep. to get the hang of. And how, what size was the uh, the 5000, or the, uh, I mean the 3S? I have uh, 5000 and then I have two 3000s. Okay. I, and I have a parallel. Well, even, even the 3000 would work. This way you could just move it forward a little bit. Okay. Oh try that okay because i definitely i mean this I, one's definitely I, heavier i mean oh yeah <laughs> you can feel it when i went to go pull all the way up to <laughs> well, kind of keep just, it ready i threw it the same way and even yeah. then that was close okay yeah and if you keep it really light this this plane handles just <laughs> absolutely beautiful good i mean you could you could see i mean no no well i mean for taking it <laughs> yeah for taking a week to build the thing yeah. uh to actually print it out and to put it together that you know, that's uh, this oh. one's one sweet deal right there. Oh, what, five? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, I just, I didn't really want to take a fly for that long. If we're gonna go ahead and try a different setup to see, it might, it might slow it down a little bit for you. Sixteen one seven is what it was at. Okay, I mean, once you get used to it, eventually, then you're open to kind of try almost any combination oh, right yeah. there. Okay. That's actually, oh, just all the way up front like that with that 3S. Nice. Wait, and this way you can go ahead and actually put your uh, put your camera up there and be able to move this pack back a little bit you then. Could, yeah. Okay. Because I, I, I was honestly thinking about putting just the whole air unit and stuff right up here too. <laughs> when I find, well, because I, I know the heat was an you issue and stuff. actually could do that almost. Could just super glue it and it wouldn't go anywhere. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, let me, uh, yeah, you're getting really used to hand launching it, that's for sure. Yeah, it got better. But yeah, the wink printed out really nice and straight. The surfaces, I mean, they're they're not really trimmed out that bad. I mean, they're almost like dead on with everything, so. Yeah, that's good. Man, that's... I'm just glad that single, okay. that single piece of filament is holding up with the control surface, because I was... I okay. knew once it was straight, it's the PET G, so it's got a little, I know it's a little, well, okay. not printed. And it's hard yeah, to I've got a fiberglass rod, so, all right, yeah, if you're ready. Yeah. Okay. That thing is just... God, this thing's outrageous. <laughs> if it's anything like the the Mini Drac, I mean, of course, that thing's just a beast. I mean, it, it basically plows through almost any kind of winds and yeah. turbulence and, and comes in and it, it has a... A lot of resistance to any kind of damage and I mean that one hitting the ground at 80 miles an hour <laughs> and the only thing it did was it, it broke the broke the front 
uh, you know, the top and bottom uh, fuselage spars, yeah. and then the the wing spar itself. That was it. <laughs> didn't even didn't even break the uh, the wing at all or the fuselage. Oh, that's good. No matter just laying uh, new spars out. So, half yeah, you ready? Which way are we? Okay, yeah, we'll just launch in the same direction. So, I'm thinking it, it won't take much to really launch it. So. This is just 3S? Yeah. Okay. Took a little bit more throttle. That was my concern was if the, the motor was going to be too underpowered with, well. Telemetry no, it, lost. Telemetry recovered. Whoa. Yeah, I don't like that. You got the Immortal T on here too, so. All right. That's kind of weird how we lose telemetry. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Bring it up. Okay, <laughs> there's there's full up elevator right there. Okay. Look at that. That's. Oh no, I'll let you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. That's still just crazy though. Oh it just my. rides the wind. Yeah. So full up elevator. It'll it'll just basically just sit there. Okay. I could go ahead and uh, hand you over the control. Let me get it up overhead. Okay, yeah, ready? Yep. Okay. Just remember, throw it throw it my way if you uh Whoa. Remember it's okay. it's it's still gonna be a little bit touchy. I'm just barely using any of the controls. So right turn, turn it back towards us. See which way it's going, right? Yep. Okay. Man, if you pick this one up pretty quick and everything else, you're gonna be uh absolutely loving flying this one. Yeah, you have to get used to which way it's pointed. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, yeah, I've been flying wings for a long time. It's just this one, this one's a real sweetheart. We get a plane just uh, just out over the trees. I don't think we had to worry about them too much. Okay. Not bad. Oh, damn, I thought I was going to go with the other side. It's just the way it was worrying it out. Okay. Hey, getting a little ways over the trees over there. Telemetry lost. Ready? Yep. Telemetry recovered. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yep. I need practice. Maybe. Okay. I think you're right. That it just it feels like it's a little bit a little bit higher uh, response and everything else. Yeah. Which I mean, it just takes us. Well, it just takes a second. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See, I'd start to lose it right there in the tree line because of its uh, profile. Yeah. As long as I don't bust the thing, I'll be all right. <laughs> no, that was good though. I'm curious as to why I keep getting why it keeps saying that. Uh, me too. Of course. I'm wondering. I, I wonder. Got your I, your orientation of the antenna, maybe? Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. Cause I just have it. It's kind of bending around the fuselage oh, inside there. Oh wait. Okay. If it's bent like that, it might actually have cut down on some of your range on there. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you're probably right. So if you have it going straight up and down, then. I'll uh I'll fix that. <laughs> yeah, it's just so graceful. Oh, and this is back down on 3S. Yeah. I mean, it could easily fly it on this all day long. Oh, yeah. Go and have some fun with this one. Jeez. Yeah, I need maybe something, well, slower like, wing to practice or this one a little more open. Yeah. This one's almost completely hands off. It's. <laughs> Once I got my orientation, it was nice. It did, like, I did all okay. right. Yeah, because I think uh, with the mini quads, I think you've been you've been practicing a little bit with it with line of sight, right? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. A okay. Little, try a little bit. It's that, just what, that when you first handed it, I was I was way off, yeah, because yeah. I was trying to go that way and I went the wrong way. <laughs> and as soon as it did that, then I picked it up. I picked up where I was and. Okay. Yeah, if you want, I'll go ahead and bring it on in, and we can. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
All right, there's Northern Pike on 3S right there. <laughs> Beautiful. That bi blade's working out really nice too. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Well, you got one uh, one hell of an airplane here. I'm excited. Damn. Imagine just a little bit before, all I was just a spool of thread. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, you're definitely gonna have some fun with this oh, one. Oh yeah. So. Get the get some practice. Okay. With a, with a bigger, slower wing. Yeah. Uh, sorry, not a less agile wing, I guess I should well, say. Well, just said, beat the hell out of that other one. It's it's definitely made for being able to have fun, but it, <laughs> it is made for extreme long range, though. If you're really wanting to to go that route as well, but that, that'll be well. And like I was saying, I want to do it especially with the. Uh, yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, especially with that other one, because with those two three thousands in each each wing. Oh yeah. It was the the spec sheet <laughs> says you'll get up to an hour of flight time oh, with two three thousands in parallel. Two three thousand. So then what I want to do is do build the twenty one seven hundred packs because I can build. Oh, those things! I'll take that pack. Uh, I can build a three cell five thousand for less weight wow. and then run those two in parallel. Oh, and then I have ten thousand <laughs> moth for almost two hours with okay. that wing. That's why. Yeah. That's why I'm gonna. That's why that's gonna be the long. If if that. If it holds anything close to true to that time, oh, it's it's going to be up there for a long time. I mean, it, and it can go as slow as it wants to in two hours. Okay. It, with two hours, it's not going to. And matter. with the air unit, now you're talking about just taking and cruising around the countryside. Well, it's like I said, it's like a, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna push push the limits of that air you're unit. Lost. You're okay. Yeah, I'll have to figure. I'll, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll play with the placement of that antenna because that has to be. Okay. Yeah, if you really want to, go ahead and mark the CG location on this, and then uh, you should be fine. Yeah. Well, I think no, I'll I'll be able to remember. That's easy enough to remember those two. Okay. That was kind of my when I was playing with it a little last night. I didn't do two because I wanted okay. to make sure it was right. But that's this. where I was kind of playing with it, and that's where it <laughs> felt the best was right okay. around there. Yeah. So get a little bit of time. Okay. Oh man. Well. Uh, well, I bet you're excited.